What is going on, my YouTube friends, all my Patreon friends, all my Harry Styles friends, Stylers? It's got to be a fan club name. It's got to be a fan club name. Uh, our friend Greta sent me a Patreon request for Harry Styles Fine Lines official audio. I don't know. I don't know if there's a video that goes along with this. Looks like it's just a photo. Looking forward to this one, man. I've really been enjoying my Harry Styles journey, my One Direction journey. It's like really, really inspiring to see the fan dedication that really built that band up into the superstars that they were, right? And the talent, man, speaks for itself. So I'm going to have the link to this in the description box. I'd appreciate if y'all are giving Harry Styles another view after my reaction video, of course, of course. And I have all my links in the description box as well if you want to check any of those out. And uh, let's do this. Sweet pick. Atmospheric. All right. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put a price on a motion. I'm looking for something to buy. We're starting out that heavy. All right, all right. You got my devotion. Man, I can hate you sometimes. Really, really enjoy the introduction of the synth there. I thought they were going to keep building with more instruments, but maybe they will in, an, in like another hook section. But it sounds like, and this is pure speculation, y'all. I obviously wasn't in the studio when they recorded this, but it sounds like he played it on guitar and sang it twice. Maybe even at the same time, like maybe strumming the guitar and singing it. But like, it's the same thing. Like you call it like a, like a double take or like a two take or... He's doubling a vocal and doubling a guitar line. It just feels like they spaced them both like hard left and right. So you have one of the versions on this side, the other version on this side, and it's basically the exact same thing on the same metronome. It's just like they have their, each has its own like little bits of changes because you perform it differently each, each time, right? Like in the lives especially, but even in the studio, like maybe you... I get in my head when I sing lots. Um, so I'll sing something and I'll think, oh man, on the next take, I'm going to try this. And then on the next take, you try that. And arguably, it's the same thing, but maybe you just approached it a little bit differently. Like there's nuances that change, right? And you can hear them. Like it doesn't feel like they just did that through processing. It feels like it was actually two solid takes. And I would guess that, I would speculate that, I keep, I need to say that, um, that he was actually playing guitar and singing at the same time. Or there was a guitar player playing and he was singing at the same time. That's just the vibe I'm getting from it. But it's neat how they approach that. Instead of using it as like a doubler or taking like, you know, the best word from this take and the best word from this take and you get one like solid kind of performance out of it. Um, comping, we call that. Uh, it feels like they're just using both of them. I dig that. Test of my patience. Now we're getting harmonies.
great tail and the reverb. I'm sitting here and see I get in my head I'm thinking about the production I'm talking about the production but these lyrics are stunning and so relatable like especially like the fine line between like is it fighting or loving and sometimes we fight because we love right so it's like what side of that coin are we going to land on in this like dancing act or this balancing act that we're going through right and I think that's super interesting. On the nerdy side of things, I like that the acoustic guitars sound the way they do because they're, they, they're tracked and they're played really nice, but you can even hear like the string noise from the bar chords, right? And like, I don't want to say that it's not a perfect take because it's the take that made it. Like it's the emotional take, it's the real take. But those are things in recording that get overlooked a lot of the time. Like you play a chord and you hear the string noise and you go, oh, I have to do it again. But if you leave it in there, it's, um, but yeah, like those are things that would get lost in the sauce, but they make it more human when you lean into those things and you use them. And I dig that. I really dig that. Let me back that up a little bit. The thunder scared the crap out of me. Wow, it shut like all my stuff, all my stuff off. What's that? I think it's just the internet went out for a sec. Uh oh, another one. Thunder really screwed up all my stuff. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> Not expecting this drum line to come in. Like now it feels so like anthemic and positive and it's like this explosion of happiness. Like maybe that's a little bit dramatic, but it just it's such a vibe change now.
Great cadence on the way out. Yeah, I like that one, y'all. And he's right. It is a fine line, you know, from caring, like, what's an example I could use? Have you ever been so upset about something because you care about it? Like, what, like, how contradicting is that? Or how much of, like, a juxtaposition is that? Like, I care about something so much I would fight for it. For it. Like, why should you have to fight for it? But you would. It's like an impulse thing, right? At least it is for me. At least it is for me. I did a lot of talking in that one, and the thunder interrupted and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I appreciate this request, y'all. Let me know which other Harry Styles songs we got to check out. Uh, I'm going to have the link to this one in the description box. Love if y'all are checking it out. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one.